On this episode of The Rotunda Show, after last semester's sudden closing of Mulligan Sports Grill, a new student-friendly nightlife spot is set to open in its place within the coming weeks. Also, we look back on Longwood's 2011 MLK Symposium. Finally, changes to the sorority recruitment process brought out record numbers for the spring 2011 class. All that and more on this episode of The Rotunda Show. Hello everyone, welcome back to Longwood, and thanks for tuning in to this episode of The Rotunda Show. I'm Megan Kozik. Mulligan's Sports Grill, one of Farmville's most popular bars for both Longwood and Hampton Sydney students, closed for good last November. However, the property located at 202 High Street across from campus will be the new home to the aptly named 202 Bar and Grill. In a joint business venture by David Carmichael, owner of Main Street Lane's Bowling Alley, and Scott Keaton, owner of Keaton Sounds in Farmville, the former home of Mulligan's and Grady's Restaurant has endured a complete renovation and will be opening to the public on Tuesday, February 1st, pending a successful health inspection. Among the upgrades to the old Mulligan's are refinished counter and bar tops and dining tables, new paint in just about every corner, a refurbished dance floor and performance space, and new 50-inch flat screen televisions in both the bar area and restaurant. Longwood's annual MLK Symposium, three days of events in commemoration of the life and service of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was held last week on campus. Barbara Howard, a native of South Africa, was the guest speaker for the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Symposium held on Thursday, January 20th in Jarman Auditorium. Howard discussed her experiences while growing up under apartheid and emphasized to students the importance of selflessness and giving back to their communities. Well, I think it's great the fact that you are focusing on community service and I think that is a national trend and it's a way again, as I said, giving back to the community and not just being selfish and thinking about yourself. How important. President Finnegan also spoke of the importance of the event and Dr. King's legacy and was grateful for Howard's words. I think the world is becoming more selfish. I think uh, you can look at a number of things that have happened in this country and see that we're more materialistic, we more care about uh, what we have than what we give to other people. So a message from someone like Barbara Howard who has lived through uh, an interesting and challenging life, it, it's, it's a great point to make and I think very important for not just young people, it's important for everybody. On Monday, January 17th, Longwood students also participated in the MLK Service Challenge where they performed community service projects around the Farmville area. And on Wednesday, the 19th, volunteers took turns reading excerpts from a speech by Christopher Reeve on the steps in front of Lankford Hall. Last Sunday, over 130 female Longwood students celebrated the end of recruitment by participating in the College Panhellenic Council's Spring Walk. The event took place on Eiler Field at 5 p.m., and despite the cold, everyone appeared excited to be joining their new Greek homes. As the girls ran to the sororities they would be joining, they were shirted and greeted with open arms and smiling faces. This walk gave the CPC all-time high numbers and capped many of the Longwood sororities. A total of 181 girls signed up for the recruitment this semester, a high number made possible by CPC's new recruitment policies and a very enthusiastic freshman class. WALK is just the beginning of the journey for the ladies joining their organizations. For more information on sorority life, you can visit www.longwoodgreeks.com. Our next story comes from the Athletics Department, where Athletics Director Troy Austin made the decision back in December to relieve fifth-year head coach of the Longwood women's basketball team, Kristen Caruso, of her coaching duties. Caruso led the team to a 1-6 and six start this season before the decision was made to remove her on December 6. Caruso compiled a 34-60 and 60 record while head coach and has been replaced on an interim basis by former men's basketball assistant coach Bill Reinson. Shortly after announcing the coaching change, Austin was quoted as saying, it is in the best interest of the Longwood women's basketball program that a change in leadership is made at this time. Crusoe's short tenure at Longwood was marred by a bit of controversy as she was indefinitely suspended from the bench in December of 2009 for what the athletics department described as a personal matter. No word has been given on when a new head coach will be announced, but you can stick with us here at the Rotunda Show for more information on the coaching change and all the news surrounding Longwood Lancer Athletics. 
With the 2011 spring semester underway, the Health and Fitness Center is set to begin its spring intramural sports season. Indoor soccer, basketball, 4-on-4 four four flag football, and softball will all be a part of the intramural season this spring. For more information on sign-up deadlines, captain's meetings, and more, contact Robbie Bell at 434-395-2356 or visit www.longwood.edu slash recreation. That's all for this episode of The Rotunda Show. Make sure you pick up your copy of The Rotunda on newsstands today or visit our website at www.therotundaonline.com. I'm Megan Kozik, and we'll see you next time.